this is Gavarok Feven, or welcome you to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts, and Sora just attacked a wall. Right, perfectly normal kid. Um, we're killing shadows. Like that. Unfortunately, this Wonderland is the world in which my least favourite Heartless, no, my second least favourite Heartless, my least favourite Heartless is another variation of this one which we come to play in the later world. My second least favourite Heartless appears. I think he's going to show up shortly. I don't know if we get him in this battle or in the next one, but you'll see. There are basically four types of enemies in uh, Wonderland that I can think of right now. The Shadow, the Soldier, the Red Nocturne here, if it's Nocturne, I could be wrong on the name, and the someone else. Oh no, he's not in this one. Okay, well you'll be seeing him shortly. If you want me to give you a clue as to um, his uh, physical stature, he is a big problem. I don't know why I'm saying he, because it's not like there's only one of him. There's lots. But they usually only, uh, bleh, you usually only get attacked by one at once. Saving the game there. And now we shall head into the... Oh no, now we're going to talk to the rabbit. Oh, you sit to Royal Majesty. Yeah, whoop de do. Can't really talk to the Queen because you can't reach her. Let's uh, say hello to Alice. Who are we? We're Sora. That's Goofy. And that weird little white thing is Donald. Very strange world. So you have a little uh, hole in there that leads to the main, um, well, pretty much the main area of Wonderland. There's very few areas in Wonderland. There's the rabbit hole, the bizarre room, which we will be coming back to in many ways, the Queen's Castle, this place, the Lotus Forest or the Lotus Woods, and one other area. And there's a floating head. Okay. Um, it's a pink and purple thing. Yeah, who indeed? Uh huh. Are you gonna help us? Oh, it's the widow named Cat. My phone's ringing. Lovely. Ignoring. Uh-huh. Four pieces of evidence. Three are a cinch to find. The force is tricky. Big reward if you find them all. Of course we shouldn't, but will we? Yes. And here are the shadows. And the soul, yeah. Bye, soldier. Now my usual policy here is to be level 12 by the boss, so we'll see how long it takes me to get to that level. We're still a long way off from the boss, there's pretty much... It's only just started after all, but, um, yes. Hmm. A whole bunch of weird looking flowers here. Give me a potion and I'll make you bigger. Well, we don't need to be bigger yet. Give me an ether. Okay. Let's just fight the next group. Uh -huh. And the soldier bounding around like a complete and total idiot. It's not a very good soldier, considering it looks like his joints are dislocated. Um, soldier with war wounds, maybe. Spirit shard. 
all the shards and stuff, they're all for uh, item synthesis, which means not for a while. Okay, we'll give you an ether, that's why we bought the ether after all, back in Traverse Town. Whole bunch of health, which is useless. And, however, a camping set, which is a good upgrade. Oh, Trinity. There we are. Three items. A potion, a tent, and an ether, which is good. That refunds us for the ether we just lost. Mm-hmm, item crap, la di da Setting up the ether again. And what was that? Oh, it's a chest. Footprints. That's one of the that's one of the sets of evidence as to why you get footprints in a treasure chest. I'm not entirely sure. This one wants a potion. Pretty much, they all give you items and either money, mana, or health. Not mana, MP. I've got a walk up Warcraft on my mind. Not World of Warcraft. Warcraft 3, the RTS. Whatever. Um. Yeah. I don't know what I was saying. Uh, yeah, the flowers. Most of them give you an item and just one of those different balls. That's, that's very strange to say. But uh, that one that says I'll make you bigger, that's actually an important one, which we will uh, be dealing with later. And now we're back in the bizarre room. How bizarre. But here we go. Stench in a box. Okay. And as to how walking into a tree sends us to the bizarre room, I'm not entirely sure. But this is Wonderland, so the sense making is quite optional. Now we found two bits of evidence, so there's only two left. Can we get up there? Hup! Hup! No. Once you've given them this item, you can't give them another one. Except for the one that makes you bigger, you can give him as many as you like. Get up there! Oh, God! <laughs> I'm sure we'll be here till 2011, trying to... There's an interesting looking chest over there, to the right. Now what? Hmm, there doesn't appear to be anything to get us over there. And there's an acorn up there? Very strange. No more. Where else? Better continue on then. There's another flower. What does he want? Oh no, heartless. Great! Shadows! Woohoo! Someone kill me, please. Huh! <laughs> Ha! 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 He wants an ether. I think it's red ones want ether. Yellow want potions. If I'm not mistaken. For the most part, at least. And there's another camping set. Lovely. And Sora's items are completely buggered. No, that's not supposed to be an ether. That's a potion. The next one down's an ether. Why does it matter? Because I'm anal. I never really liked that um, adjective. Adjective? I don't know. Never really liked that word in that context, but oh well, it's true. More heartless to kill! More soldiers! Woo hoo! And more mushrooms to jump up on. Wonderful! And a rock, which at the moment leads us up to here, where we can open that to get antenna, which is another piece of evidence as to why there'd be a severed antenna in a box. Why did I say box rather than box? I don't quite know. My voice is strange. As to why there's a set of antenna in a box, I'm not entirely sure, but um, 
Ah, well. Makes more sense than footprints in a box! Right. Let's open this odd looking chest. Or a Thunder G. And let's stand here for a while. And let's look at our infantry for a while. And let's look like idiots for a while. La di da di ding dong. Oh bugger, video ending soon. Uh, right, well, this is Gavarok Fevenor saying, um, hope you enjoyed this and fare thee well, and the journalists are trinities as well, just so you know. Anyway, this is Gavarok Fevenor saying, fare thee well. <laughs>